The name raptor, when referring to dinosaurs, usually gives the impression of the beasts made famous in the Jurassic Park series. Running on land with athleticism and grace. Studies show that the raptor family of dinosaurs, also called dromaeosaurs, were some of the closest relatives to the dinosaurs that learned how to fly, eventually becoming the ancient relatives of what we now know as birds. But what if we told you that a brand new dinosaur has been discovered not so long ago that was a relative to these famous raptors? But instead of flying through the air, this one could swim. This new semi-aquatic dinosaur is officially one of the first ever of its kind. Named Hauskaraptor, the remains were discovered in the lands of Mongolia, but not through normal means. Just like ivory with elephants, they are also dinosaur fossil poachers, and these new raptor remains were smuggled all the way to Great Britain. Eventually, the remains were identified as a brand new dinosaur discovery, this meaning that they had to be examined. Cue paleontologists Pascal Godfroy and Andrew Cow. The fossils were taken to the European Syncretin Radiation Facility to be scanned with special equipment that could use x-rays to recreate 3D renders of the bones themselves without actually having to physically touch the specimens. This allowed the researchers to be able to uncover some very interesting and brand new traits that this dinosaur had. The scans tell that the house craptor had four limb bones that were slightly flattened. This hints that the animal had limbs that would resemble flippers of sorts, much like with what we see in penguins, giving them the ability to swim and glide through the water. But unlike penguins, the house raptor had the addition of sickle-shaped talons on the end of each one of their two front limbs. The creature sported a long neck that resembled that of swans, and even had a beak-like muzzle. Unlike birds, however, this raptor had small crocodilian-like teeth spread throughout its mouth. If the house raptor got a hold of something, it wasn't going to let it go without a struggle. Just like many members of the raptor family, the house raptor was not very large at all. Not much bigger than your typical rooster, in fact. And quite possibly even had feathers. Having strong high limbs for walking on land and flippers for upper limbs allowed the dinosaur to spend time on land and water. Its tail was also short and very thin, much better for movement in the water. The tails also help with the creature's center of gravity, putting more weight in the front which is helpful for swimming. This makes the paleontologists believe that the house craptor hunted most of its prey in the water. We can see something in today's wildlife that probably resembles behavior that this raptor may have had in birds like the gannets and the previously mentioned penguins. Diving down into the water like a torpedo, using strong flipper-like limbs to propel and guide it towards its next meal. Using a special tool called the plexus, which is an infrastructure of nerves that is shared with crocodiles. This allowed the house raptor to detect the slightest of movements beneath the water. Quite possibly only returning to land in order to breed and lay its eggs, just like the rest of the dinosaurs. And to potentially find newer and more bountiful waters to call their home. At this current moment in dinosaur discoveries, the house raptor and the members of the Spinosaurid family are the only known dinosaurs to adapt to a semi-aquatic lifestyle. So next time you see someone comparing dinosaurs to birds that can fly, just know that soon they will be comparing them with birds that can swim. If you liked today's video and want to see more science related videos on dinosaurs, make sure to like, subscribe, and even smack down a comment down below on which dinosaur you want to see next. This has been Jacob, peace out.